sleeper train to Chiang Mai. We came like hour early just in case we got lost and we're so glad we did because it took us a while to find where we needed to be but we have found it. it so it yeah well. it was we got dropped off right at the start of like the train station and the train station is so long and we ended up having to be at the complete opposite end so obviously both of us with two bags and our food for whilst we're on the train was quite heavy. We will arrive at Chiang Mai at around 8 a.m is it that we get there yeah. yeah and we don't really have anything planned for tomorrow do we we're temples. just sort of gonna yeah do the temples maybe just some other things and then we've got some exciting things planned for the next few days after that me and Harvey are going to do a cooking class. Please ignore this sock <laughs> that is next to me. We currently have a washing line up because we washed some of our stuff the other day and there's not quite enough space to like hang everything up in the room. So luckily I brought a travel washing line with me. So we do have some stuff hung up on here at the minute. So yeah, ignore the socks, that's why they're there. But we're off to do a cooking class today, a Thai cooking class, which we're really excited about. We booked with Zabi Lee Cooking School. You get to cook five different Thai dishes, which you get to choose from. You go around a tour of like a market and pick out the local produce. And then you obviously come back, cook it all. And then obviously if you don't eat it all, you can bring it home. But it only costs a thousand baht, which is about 22 pounds. So very excited cannot wait we booked it during the morning and we are absolutely shattered today we've had two early mornings in a row so hopefully the like pickup journey like the coach journey bus journey whatever it is that they're picking us up in is quite long so then we can have a little bit of a nap and then when we get there we'll feel a little bit more refreshed also have been bitten so many times by mosquitoes even though obviously i am wearing mosquito repellent they're still somehow attacking me and, and normally like in like European countries, I never get bitten, literally never. But out here, I have been bitten like crazy. I also think I got bit by a spider because I have a bite on my back, which has two puncture wounds and it sort of has a ring around it, but I am keeping an eye on it because it doesn't seem to be too bad. And then I also have this like rash on my knee from getting loads of splinters in my knee. So that is just brilliant as well.
excited. Let's go smash it. <laughs> Today we're doing the Grand Canyon. Seen it all over TikTok, it looks really fun. I love doing activities like this. And we kind of have just like a few hours to kill before we get our taxi up to Pi. So we figured, why not do it? It's gonna be fun. It costs 800 baht, which is like 17 pounds something each. <laughs> I literally just fell flat on my bum. Why is this one so high? <laughs> it all went in my nose. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it doesn't jump very well, does it? <laughs> I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs> there you go, Spider Man. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. <laughs> The camera's helped me out. <laughs> 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 oh, Jazz, I didn't like that. Don't fall off. It's all about bushes. Sunset. One thing I would recommend if you are going to come here, wear trainers because <laughs> it is a little bit slippy and we both came in Crocs not realising it was going to be this slippy but the sun's going to be setting in like 15 minutes so we're going to sit and we're going to watch. <laughs> Come for some breakfast at a cute little cafe. The cafe is called Time, and I've got a smoothie which has got peanut butter, chocolate, banana, and something else in it. Absolutely delicious. And then I also did get a bottle of water as well because 
We're going on the bike again today, so I figured I'll take this with us. And yeah, we've got a busy day ahead. We ended up going out last night and yeah, I was sick, so that's a big slide. today. Massive rock there which I nearly face planted. We've come because it's absolutely boiling today and we really fancy a dip. We don't have a pool in our hostel so with it being really hot weather we're really yeah. fancying a dip. Hello! <laughs> Some little kids just said hello to us. I've just been in. I've had to come out because it's too hot. Obviously I knew it was going to be hot hence the name hot springs. I didn't quite realise how hot it was actually going to be at like this section here 36 degrees that is literally just about as hot as a hot tub i know some hot tubs are like 40 degrees but 36 degrees like that is close enough to like a hot tub and then you've got 35 34 and then i think it probably will drop even more as you go further down but we're not sure on the measurements on that one because we've literally just jumped in and got in the 35 degrees bit and not realised. Um, but yeah, so it must cool down when it like comes down the waterfall maybe. I have actually no idea, so I'm, this is me just guessing, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm trying not to get other people in. I was very surprised that it was that hot. <laughs> like I was thinking it was gonna be like lukewarm, like, you know? But no, it is hot, very hot. So 